Prosecutors in the college admissions scandal are hoping that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. They're hoping it's worth a guilty verdict. Just revealed photos of Lori Laughlin's daughters on rowing machines may be the best evidence thus far to prove bribery paved their way into a prestigious college. Former federal prosecutor and criminal defense attorney Michael Sterling agrees. She was purported to be a crew roar when in fact that was not what she ever did. And here's evidence that this was a part of the scheme. Laughlin and her fashion designer husband, Massimo Giannulli, are accused of paying half a million dollars to get their two girls into University of Southern California as fake athletes. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Part of the prosecution's case includes these photos allegedly sent by Giannulli to the college advisor and ringleader, William Rick Singer. Singer suggested the girl's entry chances would be improved if the couple submitted photos of them working out. Singer pled guilty early on in the case. A central defendant in the scheme, William Singer, will plead guilty today to charges of racketeering conspiracy, money laundering conspiracy, conspiracy to defraud the United States and obstruction of justice. The prosecution made these pictures public as well as emails between Singer and Laughlin and Giannulli. One redacted document shows a high school counselor's account about being confronted by Giannulli over his daughter's athletic involvement. The disclosure may be in response to dismissal motions made by the defense in an increasingly heated legal battle. Do you think it was improper of the prosecution to release these photographs? Because it sounds like what you're saying, there was some anger. Was it professional for them to do this? Probably not. They probably should have just waited till trial. But, you know, prosecutors are human too. They want to win in the court of public opinion as well. The defense stands by their claim that Laughlin and Giannulli were pursuing legitimate ways to give their kids a leg up in the admissions process, while prosecutors insist the parents knew they were committing crimes. We'll see what happens at trial. Laughlin and Giannulli are scheduled to go on trial in October. This will be the first trial in the college admissions scandal. More than a dozen other parents, including actress Felicity Huffman, have already pled guilty. Do you think that Lori Laughlin and her husband should be considering taking a plea? If they are going to entertain a plea at this time, it's going, probably going to be so significant that the defense is going to take their chances at trial. Unlike Aunt Becky, the role she famously played in Full House, Laughlin doesn't seem inclined to admit any wrongdoing. We have to be honest. Well... I have to be honest. We may have, well, he may have <laughs> embellished, lied a bit on our application. Oh, man. I, I can't believe they dug that up, making an admission years ago. No, not an admission at all. All right, let's bring everyone back in. Seema, let me start with you. Um, I, I agree. I think uh, prosecutors are taking this very personally mm -hmm. because I don't think they expected anyone to not fold. I mean, I thought they I think they expected everyone to just fold in this, admit their guilt, do a couple months here, a couple months there. Yeah. And it'll all go away and they make their big splash. They get their headlines, but they're fighting it. Right. And Laughlin and Giannulli, they are now hanging their hat on this late disclosure by the prosecution. I, I really think it was just an oversight by the prosecution. But basically, there were notes between Singer and his lawyer. And, you know, Singer was a cooperator. So those notes get turned over. And the prosecution didn't turn it over. The defense alerted the prosecution. It was turned over immediately. It, it was rectified immediately. There was no battle. There was no going to court over it. But every week or so, it seems that both sides are having this type of argument. And then, of course, the prosecution retaliates with this public uh, revelation of those photographs. All right. Uh, uh, Julie Grant, when you see those photographs, what do you see? You know, Vinny, I, I think it's just it's getting kind of sad to me. Like, I feel like. Is this the best they've got? And has it gotten so petty that these these federal prosecutors you know, are putting this out into the media ahead of trial? 
Um, uh, for what? I, I mean, I've I've loved your position on this case, you know, since the beginning. That does this even belong in federal court charged as a crime, or is this really more of a civil matter? Because really, the people that lost out are those students who didn't get those spots, and are they being made whole again by this? No. And is the mastermind uh, behind this being punished? No. He's the Rick Singer, sang like a canary, and then rolled on everybody else. And I, I do think that there there is a, a viable issue that Lori. Laughlin's defense team has raised, and that is that these iPhone notes that Rick Singer contemporaneously made on his phone while he was cooperating with the feds and making these recorded calls to these parents, it could be exculpatory evidence because it goes to the intent. Was it a donation or was it a bribe? It could be exculpatory for Giannulli and Laughlin. So I get that they're raising these motions and trying to get this case dismissed. You know, Ted, when I went to school, um, there was a, a whole wing of the university that was named after uh, a particular family. And, and there was a, uh, another freshman at the other end of the, of the hallway who had that same last name. Now, he was, he was super smart, great writer. I don't think he finished school, but he didn't need to. He was doing other things. But um, this happens all the time. I mean, th this, it's a private university. If they want to take money from a family and let someone in, then so be it. So what are you, you, you and Julia are basically saying that um, the feds, after they get this tip that this is happening, they should just forget it because um, no one was really hurt about it. It's not that big a deal. No, they broke the law and they're Thank lying about you, it. Thank you, Ted. They, they think that they are better than everybody else. Yes. And that's what the feeling is going Which to be. Which law? Which law? Tell charade. me the law they broke. Tell me well, the law they, they broke. They knew exactly what they were doing. And, and how it's the different. Idea How's it that different? They, that, that this was not a bribe. That they that this was a donation. Are you kidding me? What what kind of a? Why did he go to the high school counselor and berate him with his? Do you know who my daughter is? Uh, how dare you? as a high school counselor say, well, you know what? I don't think she's much of a rower. I'm going to alert people that she doesn't actually row. Uh, and now you're defending these people. Uh, I'm not, you see, you're misconstruing it, okay? This is horrific behavior. This is unethical behavior. But you know what? I don't want my Federal Bureau of Investigation wasting all the resources that they are on this case. They've got bigger fish to fry. They got El Chapo already, Rick Singer. They got him long before they got any of these parents. They, it's like arresting El Chapo, having him put a wire on his phone, and then get the street dealers rounded up or get the customers rounded up, really is what it is, because the money's coming the other way. So I'm going to arrest, give a deal to El Chapo so I can arrest a drug user on the street. That's exactly yeah, what you're the FBI a message. did here. But What's that's the what happens all the time, Vinny. I, they arrest El Chapo. They arrest the, the buyers. Wait, the no, sellers. no. They don't the arrest time. El Chapo to get no. a, a so drug you want, user. You want your mm -hmm. FBI to spend more time putting black and brown people behind bars and letting all these rich white people just No, run Rick the Singer. No, oh, come no on. That. Come on. Rick that's Singer ridiculous. behind bars. Listen to me. Lori Loughlin, you put the master. Hoffman, you got the mastermind. have violated crimes. This is a federal case. This is not some street level hustle these are serious crimes otherwise this, this is case a wouldn't be on crime. trial oh, stretch it's not a they stretch are they it's not a stretch otherwise we would be on the precipice of trial this they case is going to trial them. and the judge is taking it so seriously that he's not even delaying it for the covid-19 situation that we're in do you think right, that they and that, filed and that's this fine. as a donation on their taxes? Did they did they think, oh, you know what? We're really good people. We're donating half a million dollars to USC. I, I think We're they great did. People. I think they we did. should tell everybody. I think Rick Singer, Rick Singer, I think had a charity set up in his scam. <laughs> so they may have. They, they may have. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the tax return, but it may have gone that far. The, the problem I have is why are you using? You you got the ringleader. It's over. The scam right. is over. It's not happening anymore. 
Now you're going after the users. And that's and, actually and not true. Part. That and is not true. After the initial round, the Department of Ed Education opened more investigations into more colleges and universities. So it's not over. After that is just one round. We don't know who else may be down the pipeline in terms of educators and colleges, universities, coaches. I can, uh, how about the university? Do you think the universities could take five minutes to find out if people they're letting in on their athletic teams are actually on the athletic teams? I mean, it's, it's not just USC, <laughs> right. it's other schools as well. They're all going like this, and you know why they're going like this? Because they're getting all the money. Because none of these kids are getting scholarships. They're all paying full tuition. They're paying seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year to go to these schools, and the schools love getting that money rather than letting someone in who they may have to give a scholarship to. So I want accountability for the universities who are the so-called victims, according to the federal government, of this scam, which they are not the victims. They got a windfall of money. And, and some, some of the programs got money from this. Their coaches, their employees got money from this. The only people not getting money are the defendants. It cost them money. It cost them $500,000 donations and, and, and bribes, whatever you want to call it, and then another $300,000 in tuition. So who's, get, who's, who's victimized by this? The schools? Really? Are you, are you serious mm -hmm. that you think Laughlin and Giannulli are victimized? 500000 300000 No, I'm saying the school is not a no, victim. No, I understand the school there, is not a victim, no victims. but don't defend the defendants, Vinny. Don't defend them either. I agree. The school's I, not the victim. You and know that I is go after the federal the Department government of Education, a lot. That's why the Department of Education has opened an investigation into everybody. This isn't over. There could be more culpability yeah. down the road, including the universities. Well, I and I'll tell you what I have the problem with. Deal. Go ahead, oh, go ahead. Julie. Sorry. Yeah, no, 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 go ahead, Ted, please. I, I, I do agree that they should have been given a deal that was manageable. The problem is their exposure because the amount of money at stake here put them at like 40 years plus, you know, at tops. Um, there should have been some sort of a Felicity Huffman type deal for them as well to make it go away because now, to Vinny's point, really they don't. They don't but Felicity Hoffman only this. spent 15000 It was a lot right. less money. That, That's yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Crime is My the last thing. legal point. Last legal point. Those, those numbers are ridiculous. Be and yeah, you know why? I agree with that. Because in the federal system, you get punished based upon the value of your crime. But it's usually this way. I steal something from you. I steal something worth $100,000, so I get punished for a $100,000 crime. But in this situation, I'm giving you $500,000, so I get punished for $500,000? I didn't benefit $500,000. That's why it's upside down, inside out no, in not. this case. No, it's not. Hey, is USC going to yeah. give back the tuition money? Do you think they're going to give back the money? <laughs> I, I just don't think you get it. I don't think you understand that these kids are robbing their way into a higher education. And it is criminal. It's not fair, and it's I, criminal. Under, it's not criminal. It it's is criminal. Civil. Otherwise, this eyes, wouldn't be in criminal civil. court. That and that's just the fact. No. Well, it could be in civil okay. court. It could be. Um, but it's but I have to tell you, the thing that bothers me about this is that if if the FBI agents who used Mr. Singer to do the cooperation and and take down everybody involved in this allegedly. It really upsets me if they lied and said, you know what, tell everybody one thing, lie to these parents on these recorded calls so we can get them to say things to use against them in a court of law. That is wrong. And this is coming from a former prosecutor. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. And if this guy documented it on his iPhone that he says like something like the FBI wanted me to fib and restate what I told my clients because they wanted it to seem like payments, like bribery payments. I've got a problem with that. All right, we're out of time. My final word is don't misconstrue what I'm saying. It's horrible behavior. The kids should be out of school. The parents should be shamed, and they should be sued in civil court. When we could...